be supporting. <laughs> So yeah, before I go, um, I'll do a quick spoken word piece. Um, this okay. I just uh, finished night before last and got to debut yesterday. Um, I, I got such good response for uh, hashtag squad goals, which really showed me how how I'm not the only person that's super disenchanted with the people that are supposed to be our champions. Yeah. Um, and once I thought of using the metaphor of of the squad as a bomb squad who does everything with the bomb but disarm it. I right. couldn't, I couldn't not pounce on that. So yeah. <laughs> um, let's see, here it is. This is Bomb Squad. Sick of the lie, and I mean the big lie. Sick of the talk and sick of the sight. So let it be said, I was a lyrical blade at the neck of the right. That I was a lyrical needle that entered the temple and opened the mind. Interim Lord of the Flies. Erecting a hall to the dead in a culture of trauma survivors who struggle each day to survive held under pressure by suited oppressors who peddle in blame with a little bit of victim shame on the side and can't quite measure the spite each day when you find that you've opened your eyes in a nation refusing to honor the worth of your life, in a nation refusing to lessen the wealth of a handful to wash off the stains of our poverty lines, but they're happy to tweet on the issues and pat themselves all on the back for the bill they designed with zero intention to sign and all too content to soak up in the media shine like a bomb squad only reporting to find the device and state that they found the device, watch the device, publicly shame and denounce the device, tweet every day on the risk that could rise and then land on the cover of Vogue for their fearlessness, power and style while facing that awful device. And behind closed doors, they can laugh with that awful device. They can shake hands with that very device that eats millions of struggling Americans' lives. And one day when it blows sky high, they can wring all their hands at the toolkit sitting nearby with a manual walking them through the disarming and proper disposal and all point fingers and all place blame over why it had never been tried. But if all of us hostages had those tools, we would not think twice. But instead we were left in the dark with our hands all tied and they bring a few ball gags once in a while and we open our mouths and we don't ask why. A few don't mind. A few start cheering the silence who view it as some kind of positive sign. And a few shout prayers to a squad that had sworn they were here to help and they were on our side. And suddenly we could hear vehicles come up the drive. We saw the flashing of lights. We thought that help that arrived only to find there was a media frenzy to see AOC wear her hair to the side. And Kamala Harris was not in attendance, but she sent her shoes in a bulletproof limo with heavy security detail that all of our taxes were gracious enough to provide. And along with her warmest regards, she sent a surprise, a shipment of muzzles and gags and all of them signed, cheer for your squad or shut up and bite, President Harris. And that's what I'll read through the tears in my eyes while I'm opening wide, accepting my penance for daring to warn that the squad will be cutting your heat in the night before they take a blade to those wires. And that our only hope to dismantle their precious devices in snipping the red and the blue because they're fully entwined to cut out the red and the blue in our minds wherever we find. So here's to combining our hands and cutting the line. Here's to denying the motor the oil it needs to be primed. Here's to a wrench in the gears of your capital, hearing it grind. Here's to the feeling of loosing your collar and breaking your binds. Here's to the bliss of forgetting your number and knowing that's fine, knowing your name and living your life for a purpose beyond someone's profits of which your retirement warrants a hollow farewell and equivalent gift of a dime. Here's to the bliss of us cutting the line. Like President Harris, I'm biding my time. Here's to the promise of breaking our binds. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, that's man. Bomb squad. <laughs> yeah. Very, I, I, I feel like that's a very important piece considering what, uh, what we've witnessed <laughs> from from that yeah. article this uh... yeah oh i know God. <laughs> so yeah. yeah and what's funny is bomb squad was was uh, much shorter originally and all of a sudden aoc's article came out and it's three times the length it was when i first <laughs> did it now <laughs> it has to be yeah uh, yeah once you once you open yep. the floodgates you exactly know. <laughs> exactly but man i can't thank you enough for having me seriously like thank i said you so every, much for doing this you know with things changing so much any occasion i get to to be heard and have have my message shared is, is yeah. so meaningful so really thank you this was awesome 